with that down, guys, let's talk some Penguins, shall we? Again, first thing got to mention about the Penguin, the numbers have just come out. Now, we talked about it last week, how the Penguin is doing what not a lot of shows get to do, that every single week, their viewership goes up and up and up and up as word of mouth spreads. People get excited talking about the Penguin. This show is absolutely insane. I think it's the best show airing on television right now. And that's saying something because Shrinking is airing right now, and I love Shrinking. But I think this is the best show airing on television right now. So here we go again. The numbers have come out this week, and again, the viewership has gone up again. Every episode's viewership has been bigger than the week before's. Speaking to two things, the quality of this damn show, and secondly, the power of week-to-week releases instead of dropping all of your episodes at once. That's just one thing. By the way, Tor is back, gifting 10 John Campion memberships. Yeah, I just put out a tornado uh, alert, so be careful, guys. Thank you, Tor. (laughs) Appreciate that, man. So, here's the other great thing. There was some talk about whether or not there would be a Penguin Season 2 because Colin Farrell kind of infamously said, I couldn't wait to be finished making it. He said, I was bitching and complaining to everybody who would listen about how miserable I was and I could not wait to be done making this thing. Not because he didn't like the production. It's the process of getting in that penguin makeup. Mm -hmm. It's hours a day of just sitting there in a chair, hours to get into it, hours to get out, and then spit and repeat. You know, it's just endless. But he said, I mean, hey, but this show is incredible. It's insanely good and all that kind of stuff. Well, that left a lot of fans wondering if there could be a second one. But now Lauren LaFranc at the New York City Comic Con, the showrunner of Penguin, has for the first time actually even remotely addressed the potential of a season two for Penguin. This comes out from superhero hype wrote the following. Gotham is ripe. This is the showrunner speaking. Gotham is ripe to tell so many stories. The comics have shown that through the decades and decades. I love this version of Gotham too. I love all the characters that we've gotten to explore in this world. Stressing on the Penguin Season 2, the showrunner added, I think there is always room for more of that. If the story can be even better, absolutely. (coughs) If the story can be even better, absolutely. Okay. This tells me, granted it's me playing interpreter, they absolutely have their eyes on doing a second season. And, you know, we speculate on this show before that when Colin Farrell came out and talked about the fact that it was miserable getting in and out of the costuming and he couldn't wait to be done, we all said, we get it, that's how you feel at the time. But as he's now a year removed from filming it and now gets to sit at home and see the fruits of his labors and seeing how the viewership keeps getting higher and higher and how the audiences and idiots like me keep praising it and lauding it. It's like one of the best things on TV. But most importantly, when Emmy time comes around. Mm -hmm. When Emmy time comes around and Colin Farrell, and by the way, Miliotti too. Miliotti's so good. Hear their names mentioned when the acting nominations come out. I think he's going to feel very differently and far more positively about coming back for season two. Look, one of the things that we know about Penguin is that we know, because it's been confirmed, that it leads into Batman 2. However and wherever this thing leads off, it will directly flow into the events of Batman 2. That tells me that Penguin is is going to survive this thing. He's He's going to be around at the end. But will Sophia survive? I'm starting to think she doesn't. Um, Will Maroney survive? I'm starting to think he doesn't. Will Vic survive? I'm starting to think he doesn't. But whatever that case, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality 
quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code campia checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash campia and use the code campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Chris, I'm sitting here today and I completely believe there will be a Penguin season two. This show is just too good. And HBO has a habit of sometimes ignoring numbers and just saying, hey, if this show is like one of the best things out there, we'll just do another season. Yeah. But this thing has the numbers and it has the critical acclaim and all that kind of stuff. I think they're doing another one. What do you think about these two things? Number one, the fact that the ratings keep going up and they've gone up again. And number two, the fact that the showrunner is now for the first time kind of teasing the chances of a season two. What do you think is going to happen here? I think that a season two is kind of a no-brainer at this point for everybody. They're just probably going to back a dump truck of money up to Colin. Mm. Because he's excellent in this. And we talked about this before. The prosthetics are a real bitch to put on. Yeah. That, it's it's really awful. And especially when you also have to put on a suit that changes your body. That's extra literal weight that you are carrying around. That it doesn't make for the most comfy time on set. And you are in a chair for hours and hours and hours. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal to all of us sitting at home. But man, Until you've it done is, it. Once you've done prosthetics, I've done them. They are not comfortable. And it, it is a lot. And a lot of times, too, your skin and everything gets pretty bad reactions to it mm -hmm. um but this is such a great show and i keep seeing over and over again the i can't believe the best show on tv is about the penguin i can't believe yeah. the best show on tv is some batman spinoff with some c-list character yeah and historically like the, the least liked of the rogues yeah, gallery aside yeah. from like when we see him as danny devito right yeah. so i think people one it's reinventing the way people view comic book fair of Oh, the, the source material ultimately doesn't really matter. The genre of a show really doesn't matter. And we've talked about this with animation too. Great storytelling is what matters. Great character-driven pieces is what matters. And when you see a show like this that is so compelling week after week, of course you are going to get people just clamoring about it. And because they are doing those weekly releases, we stay invested and we have time to tell our friends and family, you're not watching Penguin? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're so, you have to check this out. This is so good. I think ultimately it's just going to come down to making offers that Farrell and anyone who survives <laughs> mm. makes them want to do a season two. And I think you're right. Once we have more of that Emmy talk coming in, once we have more of that critical acclaim coming in, which Farrell is thirsty for, who wouldn't be? I mean, I think that's going to really sweeten the deal for him and it's going to make him want to sign on. And the showrunner's right. This is just ripe for more stories. You can do so much in this world. I mean, I'm glad she brought up the whole thing, Gotham, because one of the things that makes the Batman and Penguin work so well for me I think this is my favorite on-screen iteration of the city of Gotham ever. I think it's the most true to the, the way the comics made me feel about Gotham. I don't think any other movie or TV show has ever made me feel like this is the most comic accurate interpretation of the city of Gotham. Now, now I'm not saying Penguin, the show is better than Christopher Nolan's the dark Knight overall. I'm not saying that, but just what I'm saying is for the first time ever, this doesn't feel like a neat interpretation of Gotham. I feel like both the Batman and the Penguin, I feel like that is Gotham. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is Gotham. And <clears throat> that to me is what's adding so much to the DNA of the show that these characters can thrive because the background of it is so perfect. And I just love the way they're doing it. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Number one, again, for the umpteenth week in a row, every single episode of The Penguin, the viewership keeps getting higher and higher. And also, now they're finally 
outwardly talking about the possibility of a season two. Do you think it'll happen? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.